it can sometimes be really confronting to move through the process of excavating what's underneath some of the habits we have in our lives. And today I wanted to share part of a session I recently had with a client because it might help you begin your own excavation process so you can begin to manifest positive change in your own life. I'm Heather Evans, a self-care and empowerment coach working with people around the world for the best advice on how to live your most empowered life and live your path of purpose. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos each week. I recently had a session with a client of mine who I've had the good fortune of working with for a couple of years now. She came to the realization recently that she continuously puts other people first. And if she doesn't feel as though she is meeting their expectation or doing what they want, then somehow she's disappointing them. She's letting them down. And that is feeding a story about her worthiness and about how much love she has to receive, how much good she gets to invite into her life. I took time during my session with this client to identify this habit, realizing that it's one that's been established for a very long time. And then we took some time to identify one of the first moments this was triggered. If you saw my previous video where I broke down habits, patterns, and rituals, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't yet seen that video, I'll include a link to it in the corner above as well as in the description below. In that video, I talk about habits are the manifestation of underlying patterns that are as a result of our mental, emotional, and physical states of being. By identifying where this pattern came from in her life, we were able to then discern and see the truth in the reality that if she speaks her truth, if she lives in alignment with her truth, she's actually no longer disappointing anyone and she's not letting anyone down. In fact, if she continues this habit of only doing or showing up for others, thinking that she's meeting their needs, the only person that she's truly disappointing is herself. I, I think what you're touching on is, is a big facet of when we are ready to up level in different ways in our life, when we're going through a shift or transformation, one of the biggest spaces and places of letting go is with people, <laughs> is with people who either have expectations of us or a story about us and who we are and how we show up that's been based on the reality of how we've been showing up and how we've been, but also the expectation that comes from ourselves around how we show up for others. Yeah. If I don't put them first, then somehow I'm a horrible person. One of your patterns... And, and this is coming up quite a bit right now, is this idea that if I don't show up, somehow I'm disappointing you, I'm letting you down, I'm failing you. I, And that translates into a story you have about yourself. Yeah. And I'm wondering where this has come from. So if you don't show up for somebody, or if you don't do what they want, chances are they'll freak out, they'll shut down, they might threaten to kill themselves. Um, if you let go of someone, they're going to completely ghost you, never talk to you again. And if you do end up 
going back to that person or going back to that pattern. It means you're going to have to lie to the other people in your life and you'll have to lie to yourself that everything's okay and that this is acceptable behavior. This was with your first boyfriend. Your very first experience of having a significant other. I think this is a pretty significant setup for never wanting to disappoint anyone else ever again. Because if I do, they'll leave me, they'll freak out, they'll ghost me, they'll cheat on me. They'll tell me I'm a horrible person. This behavior went on for over two years. Yeah. You saying, you know what, I'm done, this isn't appropriate. I want out of this relationship. And then that's the response you get. You using your voice to say what's in alignment with your truth at 16 years old and going, I'm not putting up with this any longer. And then that's the reaction. You're horrible. You're disappointing me. That is going to establish a frequency around quote unquote disappointing anyone, which by the way, you aren't doing, you're simply acknowledging your truth. That would set up a frequency very quickly. At 16 years old, 16 year old who's open, empathic, is receptive, is sensitive, has just opened herself up in a very vulnerable way to her first boyfriend. And this is the input she's receiving about what it means to say what's true for her. Yeah. Now, like you said, this might not be the very first time, but this is significant. Yeah. And in the course of not disappointing anyone else, who's getting disappointed? Bingo. You're putting yourself repeatedly in situations that aren't serving you, that are actually draining your energy, that have you giving away your power. Okay. So the habit, to be clear, the habit is, I'm going to put you first before myself. That's the habit. The pattern underlying that was born out of, in part, maybe not fully, but the pattern was established in the experience. I say what I want. The ramification is I get this in return. It, it just, it didn't feel like I, it didn't feel like there was a choice. So now it's really hard to not and get external validation. I have to tell you that this is one of the deepest sessions I've had with this particular client. And it was a moment of heartbreak to realize that this pattern was established so early. And as a result of a relationship that even at that time, even at that young age of 16, she knew wasn't serving her. She became aware of the fact that if she continued this habit or pattern, that the only person she would really be lying to was herself about her happiness, about her living her purpose. And I have to tell you, this client has done the work and has done the deep excavation it takes to really up-level her life in all areas, from her relationships to her career. Toward the end of this session, I invited my client to have a conversation with her 16-year-old self and to also remember that any time this habit of putting others before herself emerged, to remember the origin story behind it, to remember that this isn't actually her truth, that this was a pattern that was established out of a desire to keep everything okay and to make sure that other people in her life were taken care of. There were reasons behind this pattern being established, and there's so much more behind this than just the relationship she had at 16. But 
this is the beginning of the process and this is the beginning of the excavation and the discovery. And this is where we all have the opportunity to begin to step into a different way of being and showing up for ourselves in alignment with our truth. I'd love to know if there's a habit or pattern that you've identified in your life that you're ready to shift. If you'd like to share it with us, please put it in the comments below. I wanted to let you know that registration for the Vision Summit is open. The Vision Summit is a unique three-day online experience taking place from February 20th to the 22nd. My co-host, Melissa Steganis, a mindfulness teacher and productivity coach, have been working together since June of 2019 to bring this panel of experts to you. You can register at myvisionsummit.com and I'll include a link for you to get more information and to register in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to like it, subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release new videos each week. Stay ignited out there. I'll see you soon. Bye.